The carrier-based obturation method has become very, very popular in recent years and increasing over the last decade and a half since it was first introduced by Dr. Ben Johnson in 1988. One of Dr. Johnson's disciples, Giuseppe Cantatori, and I might add Stephen Nimzik and Bill Henson have kind of led the way internationally helping colleagues better appreciate the completeness of this method of obturation. Carrier-based obturation methods are specifically relevant in longer routes, smaller diameter canals, and more curved routes. Many times, if we notice a curve on a preoperative film that's about in mid-route, it may be impossible to get our pluggers within five millimeters of the full working length. As such, carrier-based obturation offers the opportunity to move warm gutta percha 100% of the time to the radiographic terminus. I'm going to speak about carrier-based obturation in the context that we shape the canals with protaper. But suffice it to say, most shaping systems have their own individualized carrier-based obturators. There are five protaper finishing files and each one has its own correspondingly sized carrier-based obturators. Once the canal has been shaped, we can confirm which obturator to use by using a size verifier. The size verifier needs to fit the full working length and be able to be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise so it is loose at the desired length. As an example, once we have shaped the canal with a protaper F1, the yellow band on the handle, we would choose the corresponding yellow handled size verifier and adjust the stop to the working length. Correspondingly, we would adjust the stop on the carrier base obturator to the same length. The method to introduce sealer utilizing a carrier based obturation method has varied considerably from clinician to clinician. In this example, sealer can be placed on a paper point. But I importantly want to mention we do not need much sealer at all. And so it would be useful to use dry paper points to mop out surplus sealer until the paper points come out virtually clean. This will prevent the needless expression of sealer beyond the foramen. The selected carrier-based obturator is placed in the protaper heating oven and pressed down into the chamber. Once the carrier-based obturator has gone through its heating cycle, the alpha gutta percha has been sufficiently thermal softened and we can sometimes break the handle off just to improve visibility and place the carrier-based obturator with a hemostat or a locking cotton plier as an example. The insertion rate is methodical, deliberate, but in around two or three seconds you should have the carrier seated to its full working length. After the carrier has been seated, we can use the preppy burr or an ultrasonic instrument as an example to sear off the non-useful handle and shaft portion of the carrier. Giuseppe Cantatori showed in clear section analysis the completeness of the obturation in the mesial root of a mandibular molar. Notice all the inner communications, the apical bifidities, and the completeness of the fill. Again, looking at Giuseppe's beautiful work, you can see that carrier-based obturation is appropriate in longer, smaller diameter, and more curved canals. Notice the beautiful shapes that are picked up perfectly radiographically by the post-operative fill. Again, notice the recurvature of the mesial root of this mandibular molar. Notice the shapes are very conservative over their length, and there is a great balance between a well-shaped canal and maximizing remaining dentin. You've probably noticed in this show that I have shown other people's post-operative images. I recently began teaching this method of obturation because my belief system is such that I can now say that this technique is as effective as any method currently available. So if one is looking at how to fill root canal systems using a warm gutta percha technique, Cliff Ruddle completely endorses the carrier-based method and you will have a lot of post-operative films to demonstrate exciting anatomy. Let's review the carrier-based technique. First of all, we need to understand 
that there are specific cases that could benefit from this method of obturation. Choose the correct carrier based on the final finishing file that was carried to link. The sealer can be introduced either on a paper point or on the tip of an explorer just wiped at the orifice level. After the carrier has come out of the oven, immediately place it in a deliberate methodical manner taking no more than two to three seconds. Upon completion of obturation, the non-useful handle portion can be removed with a preppy burr. Carrier-based obturators provide an opportunity to filling root canal systems in three dimensions and being confident that warm gutta percha was carried to length 100% of the time.